Hello, hello friends. This is Tyler, owner and artist of Rehab to Fab Designs and content creator for Dixie Belle Paint Company. And today we're going to be making over the inside and the door on this antique Jacobine china cabinet. Because this was a gorgeous antique piece and stripped natural finishes are selling so good right now, my husband stripped the old orangey oak finish off of it and we decided to leave the outside as is. So to um, give it just a little bit of added um, personality, I'm going to be making over the inside. So I cleaned the inside using Dixie Bell's White Lightning, which is a chemical degreaser. Once you've got it nice and clean, you're going to come back with some wet uh, paper towels or washcloth or whatever it is you're using and then wipe back any residue from that. And then I'm going to paint the inside. So because the outside is super plain and just left in a natural wood finish, I decided I would add just a little bit of a pop of color to the inside while also keeping it neutral. So to do that, I'm using vintage duck egg from Dixie Bell's chalk mineral line. So I painted the inside with that. I used a total of two coats and, and then decided to stencil over top of the vintage duck egg using the Leaf Me Alone stencil from Dixie Bell and Antebellum Blue for my color. When using a hard stencil like the Mylar stencils from Dixie Bell, I like to apply them using a roller. So I poured out some of my antebellum blue onto a piece of cardboard box, and then I use a roller to roll over top of that paint and then roll off any excess. The key to not having bleeds when you're painting over stencils is not to apply too much paint and not to apply too much pressure. So I roll off any excess paint onto my cardboard here, and then I just hold my stencil up and lightly roll my roller over top of the design. And then I try to actually touch some places heavier than others. That way it gives it a nice distressed look. And then for the back of the door, I decided I would decoupage it. We're gonna use a rice paper from Dixie Belle, but first I want to apply a um, coat of paint because the paper I am going to use is a little bit lighter. And so I don't like to put it over top of a dark background because that dark background can sometimes show through the paper once it gets wet when you're applying it and sealing it. So for that purpose, I am going to paint it first with chalk mineral paint in a light color. Um, I'm using cotton here and again, this is just so that I have a nice white um, or light colored background to apply my paper to as opposed to this dark stain. We don't need super solid coverage here so one coat is plenty just to get it the background lightened up so we can put our paper down. The rice paper I decided to use is called Tuscan Olive, again from Dixie Belle, and I'm going to be applying it using clear coat as my decoupage medium, and then I have a flat medium brush here. You can also use things like Mod Podge if you want for your um, decoupage medium. I like to use clear coat. I think it's a little easier to work with. It's a little bit easier to clean up. However, sometimes I will add just a little bit of Mod Podge to my clear coat just to give it a little bit more thickness. And this helps when you're working with thicker papers like the rice paper from Dixie Belle. When decoupaging paper, I like to apply my clear coat in smaller sections. So instead of applying the clear coat to this whole door, I'll apply it to maybe the top third or the top half, and then I'll come in with my paper and line it up and get it where I want it. And then I will apply the paper and then I will do small sections of it. So I'm going to apply the paper here, make sure I've got it lined up so it's centered. Um, this paper is gonna be a little bit bigger than my door itself, but no big deal. We'll take off that excess afterwards. The biggest thing with decoupage is you want to make sure you get out all the wrinkles or air bubbles from underneath the paper. This is going to make sure your paper adheres properly and also it's going to make it look better so that you don't see all those air bubbles and all those wrinkles. You can do this in a couple of ways. You can use an old credit card or a little squeegee device like I'm using here. You can use a brayer to roll your paper and get the wrinkles out or you can use some plastic wrap that's kind of balled up and use that to smooth out the wrinkles. Either way you do it, you just want to make sure you get all the air out from under it so you don't have those pockets and get your paper down nice and smooth. Once you have it in place, you're going to take a piece of sandpaper and a sanding block and gently rub it over the edges of the door or your drawer or whatever it is you're applying your paper to. This is going to remove any excess or overhang from your paper and leave a nice smooth edge. 
Once my paper was in place, I came back with another coat of clear coat over top of it to make sure it was adhered properly. And that was it for this piece, you guys. Here's a look at it all finished up. Here's the inside painted in vintage duck egg and stenciled with leave me alone and antebellum and the Tuscan olive paper on the back. I love the way it turned out. Super excited about it. Hope you guys like it too. If you want to see more videos like this, please be sure and subscribe to the Rehab to Fab Designs and Dixie Bell YouTube channels. And make sure you click on the bell to turn on notifications to get notified when we post. Thanks for watching.